वन सो डियर फ्रेंड्स इट्स हार्टी एंड वॉम वेलकम वंस अगेन एज यूजल डियर फ्रेंड्स इन आवर टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न न्यू टॉपिक दट इज इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ हार्ट इन आवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडी अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टेंट फीचर्स ऑफ एक्सटर्नल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ हार्ट इन ह्यूमन बींग एंड नाउ हियर इट्स टाइम टू लर्न अबाउट इट्स इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर वी नो दैट द ह्यूमन हार्ट इज फोर चेम्बर नॉट ओनली ह्यूमन हार्ट बट वी नो दैट द हार्ट इन एव्स दैट इज बर्ड्स एज वेल एज इन ऑल मैमल्स इट इज फोर चेम्बर बट इन दिस टॉपिक वी पीपल हैव टू लर्न स्पेशली अबाउट द इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ह्यूमन हार्ट so i said that the human heart is four chamber and the right side of heart is completely separated from left side out of these four chambers as we are aware the upper or superior and smaller chambers are known as atria or auricles and lower and slightly larger chambers are known as ventricles so let us talk in detail about the internal structure of heart first of all we are going to discuss about the atria then ventricles simultaneously we shall talk about the different valves present in the heart and different blood vessels associated with the heart i will explain you all these details simultaneously by drawing a suitable diagram here so let us talk first of all about the atria you know atria it is the plural form of atrium atrium singular atria plural these may be known as auricles the atria or auricles are two comparatively smaller superior thin wall and receiving chambers of heart here i said that the human heart has in all four chambers of which the upper or superior smaller thin wall and receiving chambers are known as atria or auricles let me show in the diagram please look here here i am going to show the atria diagrammatically what so please look at this diagram internally the human heart shows in all four chambers such as two atria and two ventricles let me label because we are known that the human heart shows left and right chambers in human being the left side of heart is completely separated from right side so obviously there are two atria and two ventricles let me show in the diagram this is the left side of heart and therefore it is left auricle this is left ventricle this is right auricle and this is right ventricle okay so i said that the atria are two comparatively smaller superior thin wall and receiving chamber let me show in the diagram these are two atria left and right and the wall of atria is comparatively thin i am going to show why the wall of ventricles is definitely comparatively thicker about which we shall discuss again the left and right auricles are separated from each other by means of a vertical septum look at the diagram left and right auricle हे जे दोन चेंबर्स आहेत 
ते एकमेकांपासून एका उभ्या पडद्याच्या मदतीने सेपरेट झालेले असतात दिस व्हर्टिकल सेप्टम व्हिच सेपरेट्स द लेफ्ट ऑरिकल फ्रॉम राईट ऑरिकल इज नोन ॲज इंटर ऑरिक्युलर सेप्टम इंटर ऑरिक्युलर सेप्टम नेम इट सेल्फ इंडिकेट्स सेप्टम दॅट इज अ पार्टिशन वॉल पडदा इंटर ऑरिक्युलर इंटर इन बिटवीन टू ऑरिकल्स दोन ऑरिकल्सच्या मध्ये असणाऱ्या उभ्या पडद्याला इंटर ऑरिक्युलर सेप्टम असं म्हणतात दिस सेप्टम शोज अन ओव्हल डिप्रेशन ऑन ए या पडद्यावर एक ओव्हल अंडाकृती डिप्रेशन याचा अर्थ एक उथळासा खळगा दिसतो दॅट शॅलो डिप्रेशन इज नोन ॲज फोसा ओव्हॅलिस लेट मी शो सेपरेटली कन्सिडर दिस इज सपोज टू बी दॅट डायफ्रॅम इन सरफेस व्ह्यू आपण कल्पना करूया हा जो पडदा इथे मी उभा दाखवलाय तो सरफेस व्ह्यू मध्ये या ठिकाणी असा दिसेल आणि त्यावर अशा प्रकारचं एक ओव्हल डिप्रेशन दिसतं दिस इज नोन ॲज फोसा ओव्हॅलिस हिअर फोसा दिस वर्ड स्टँड फॉर डिप्रेशन शॅलो डिप्रेशन ओव्हॅलिस स्टँड फॉर द ओव्हल इट इज ओव्हल इन शेप अंडाकृती Actually, this fossa ovalis, it is the remnant of embryonic small aperture that is foramen ovalis. Listen, it means during the growth of fetus, there is a presence of small aperture on this septum. That's why the garbachi ward ho ta stanna ya padhya avar ek lahan sa opening as ta jala foramen ovalis asa matla za ta. foramen this word stands for small opening oval opening and because of which the left and right auricle can communicate with each other but after the complete growth of fetus near the parturition near the delivery near the child birth that opening closes and only its remnant remains in the form of oval depression known as fossa ovalis in certain cases that foramen ovalis that aperture may be seen in newborn babies in infants and that can be we can say corrected that opening can be corrected either by surgery or by proper medication anyway so i was telling you that the left and right auricles are separated from each other by means of a vertical septum known as inter auricular septum it shows an oval depression known as fossa ovalis it is the remnant of embryonic aperture that is foramen ovalis okay now this left auricle it receives oxygenated blood by means of two pairs of blood vessels listen carefully the left auricle it receives oxygenated blood oxygenated it means pure yacha artha marathi ta apan tela shuddha rakto mhanto but oxygenated yacha artha the blood which is rich in oxygen and with less co2 now this oxygenated blood is brought from lungs and poured into this left auricle by means of two pairs of blood vessels known as pulmonary veins one pair that is the left pulmonary veins they bring oxygenated blood from left lung and that is poured here into the left auricle let me show consider these are supposed to be the pulmonary veins and the right pulmonary veins bring oxygenated blood from right lung and that is poured here again into the left auricle it means these both pairs of pulmonary veins that is right pair of pulmonary veins and left pair of pulmonary veins they bring pure or oxygenated blood from lungs and that blood is poured into the left auricle 
these vents open into left auricle from back side posterior side that is dorsal side the opening of pulmonary vents are not guarded by any valves yacha arth ya pulmonary vents chi jo opening ahe tya thikani kuthlyahi prakar chi valves mhanje jhadpa nasta on the other hand right auricle it receives deoxygenated blood deoxygenated yacha arth apan marathit ashuddha rakta asu manu deoxygenated blood means the blood which is rich in co2 ja rakta madhe carbon dioxide cha praman jasta ani oxygen cha praman kami hai such deoxygenated blood is received by right auricle by means of two large blood vessels namely superior vena cava also known as pre cava the superior vena cava it collects receives the deoxygenated blood from head region shoulder region from arms and it is poured here into the right auricle why the deoxygenated blood from all the lower parts of the body is collected by different vents and then via a large blood vessel known as post caval और इन्फीरियर वेना क्यावा इन्फीरियर वेना क्यावा इट इज ऑल्सो पोअर हियर इन टू द राइट ऑरिकल इट मीन्स द राइट ऑरिकल इट रिसीव्स डीऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड बाय मीन्स ऑफ टू लार्ज ब्लड वेसल्स नेमली सुपीरियर वेना क्यावा दैट इज प्री केवल एंड इन्फीरियर वेना क्यावा दैट इज पोस्ट केवल in addition to that this right auricle it receives deoxygenated blood from coronary sinus let me tell you what is coronary sinus coronary sinus it is a small sac like structure in which the deoxygenated blood collected by coronary vents is received and then that coronary sinus opens into the right auricle हृदया भित्ती के हार्ट वॉलला शुद्ध रक्त पुरठा करना ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड ऐसी सप्लाय करना ज्यादा थीन अशा ब्लड वेसल्स करोनरी आर्टरीज डीऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड हार्ट वॉल कड़ी परत कलेक्ट करना ज्यादा ब्लड वेसल्स है करोनरी व्हेन्स अर्थात करोनरी व्हेन्स डीऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड ब्रॉड फ्रॉम द हार्ट वॉल is poured into the coronary sinus and that coronary sinus opens here into the right auricle means we can say that the right auricle internally has three openings that is the opening of pre caval or superior vena cava opening of post caval or inferior vena cava and opening of coronary sinus the opening of inferior vena cava ya yeah, inferior vena cava cha jo opening ahe that is guarded by means of a valve known as eustachian valve the opening of inferior vena cava is guarded by means of a valve known as eustachian valve ya yeah, inferior vena cava cha opening var ji jhadap aste tichu naav ahe eustachian valve Why the opening of coronary sinus? Yeah, coronary sinus. The jo opening ahe that is also guarded by a valve known as thepaian valve. In human being, the opening of superior vena cava is not guarded by any valve. But except human being, in other mammals, that opening of superior vena cava is also guarded by a valve. Known as Havershian valve. Now, what is the role of valve? That all of you might be known. In our entire blood vascular system, including heart and blood vessels, especially veins, there are presence of valves. अपने आप उधर आ मरे. अनि veins कहीं blood vessels में दे valves present अस्तर. जनसकारिया का है. 
the valves are responsible to maintain the unidirectional flow of blood and they prevent the back flow of blood yacha artha rakta ekaj dishene pravahit vav ani te parat pravahit ho nahi ulta dishene pravahit ho nahi yacha sathi tya thikani valves present asta it means that here the blood from right auricle cannot be carried back by inferior vena cava or coronary sinus due to presence of these valves so here we have discussed about the left auricle and right auricle now these both auricles are communicated with their respective ventricles by means of apertures these apertures are known as auriculo ventricular apertures auriculo ventricular openings let me explain you look here here is aperture that is a small opening in between left auricle and left ventricle and here is another opening in between right auricle and right ventricle these openings are named as auriculo ventricular apertures now our own apply laksha deto these apertures communicate atria with ventricles auricles with their respective ventricles and these apertures are guarded by means of specialized valves that valves are known as auriculo ventricular valves as that valves are present here at the auriculo ventricular apertures hence these are known as auriculo ventricular valves these are of two types the valve present in between left auricle and left ventricle is known as bicuspid valve let me show here i am going to show look bicuspid valve it may be known as a mitral valve it is called so because this valve has two cusps two flaps ya dikani ya valve la don flaps se don cusp ahe mhanun yala bicuspid bi stands for two while the auricular ventricular valve present in between right auricle and right ventricle is known as tricuspid valve tricuspid here tri stands for the three because this valve shows three cusps three flaps let me label here tricuspid valve again the function of these valves is same means these valves only maintain the unidirectional flow of blood from auricles to the ventricles and they prevent that inhibit the back flow of blood from ventricles to the auricles pure apan heart cha working shikat astana baganaras ahot ki ja velela auricle cha contraction hoto tya velela blood is forcefully pumped into the ventricles and these valves are opened but later on these valves get closed and they prevent the back flow of blood from ventricles into the auricles now come to the ventricles ventricles are also two comparatively larger inferior thick walled and distributing chambers distributing chambers look at the diagram here are ventricles these are two in number these are comparatively larger than the auricles these are thick walled the wall of ventricles is quite thick i would like to tell you this left ventricle has the thickest wall it is said that the wall of left ventricle is about 3 times more thicker than the wall of right ventricle ya left ventricle chi ji bhitti ka hai wall hai ti right ventricle cha wall peksha jawal pas 3 pat jasta thick aste because the powerful contraction of this left ventricle is responsible for the pumping of oxygenated blood into a large blood vessel that is systemic aorta its tributaries carries that blood to the different parts of the body 
and therefore for forceful contraction and forceful pumping of blood oxygenated blood the left ventricle has thickest wall now these both ventricles are separated from each other by means of vertical septum it is slightly oblique known as interventricular septum just like the auricles interventricular septum inter in between ventricles ventricular ventricles yacha arth left and right ventricle cha madhe ha jo padda ahe thoda sa oblique yala interventricular septum asa mhanta which divides both ventricles from each other ventricles internally shows many ridges या ठिकाणी व्हेंट्रिकल्सला आतल्या बाजूने अशा प्रकारच्या काही उंचवटे दिसतात दीज रिजेस आर नोन ऍज कॉलोनी कार्नी और मे बी नोन ऍज टबॅक्युली कार्नी अँड ड्यू टू विच द कॅव्हिटी ल्युमेन ऑफ व्हेंट्रिकल्स शो स्मॉल ग्रुव्स स्मॉल पॉकेट्स these pockets are also known as fissures now the lumen of ventricles show some non elastic in elastic fibers known as cordae tendineae let me show ya tikani ventricles cha cavity madhe lumen madhe kahi non elastic threads astat tanna cordae tendineae asa mhanta mi aakruti madhe dakhavto hai look consider these are the cordae tendineae these are non elastic threads let me label these cordae tendineae are attached to the bicuspid and tricuspid muscles and at other end to the papillary muscles here are presence of some specialized muscles in the lumen of ventricles known as papillary muscles yacha arth he cordae tendineae नावाचे जे थ्रेड्स आहेत नॉन इलास्टिक थ्रेड्स त्यांचं एक टोक बायकस्पीड आणि ट्रायकस्पीड वाल्वला जोडलं गेलेलं आहे आणि दुसऱ्या टोकाने हे कॉर्डे टेंडिनी पॅपिलरी मसल्सला जोडलेले असतात नाव व्हॉट इज द रोल ऑफ दिस कॉर्डे टेंडिनी लेट मी टेल यू दिस कॉर्डे टेंडिनी ऍक्च्युली गिव सपोर्ट टू द बायकस्पीड अँड ट्रायकस्पीड वाल्व्स इट मीन्स whenever it occurs the powerful contraction of ventricles ja vela ventricles a contraction hoto ventricles ankuchan pavta at that time the blood from ventricle can be pushed back into the auricles and there is a possibility of back pushing of these valves and back flow of blood from ventricles into the auricles in old people maybe due to degenerative changes kahi vruddha vyaktin madhe valves weak zhalyamule kyo cordae tendineae weak zhalyamule ya thikani ventricle cha contraction zhalyamule rakta he ulat dishene mhanje ventricle madun auricles madhe ulat dishene pravahit hote tela mitral regurgitation mr asa shabd vaparla jato but to prevent this back pushing of the valves and to prevent the back flow of blood from ventricles to the auricles the valves are supported by means of cordae tendineae now let us talk about the large blood vessels originating from these ventricles i told you just now that the ventricles are distributing chambers auricles are receiving chambers auricle receives the blood we have already studied the left auricle receives oxygenated blood right auricle receives deoxygenated blood now from right ventricle it arises a large blood vessel known as known as pulmonary aorta or pulmonary trunk let me show here is pulmonary aorta or pulmonary trunk राईट व्हेंट्रिकल पासून एक मोठी अशी ब्लड वेसल उगम पावते विच रन्स अपवर्ड अँड इट फर्दर डिवाइड्स इंटू टू लार्ज ब्लड वेसल्स 
परत तिचे दोन भाग होतात दीज आर नोन ऍज पल्मोनरी आर्टरीज लेफ्ट एंड राईट पल्मोनरी आर्टरीज द डीऑक्सिजनेटेड ब्लड अशुद्ध रक्त राईट व्हेंट्रिकल मध्ये आलेलं जे अशुद्ध रक्त आहे हे डीऑक्सिजनेटेड ब्लड आहे दॅट इज पंप्ड इनटू दीस पल्मोनरी एओटा देन व्हाया पल्मोनरी आर्टरीज इट इज कॅरीड टू द लंग्स फॉर ऑक्सिजनेशन फॉर प्युरिफिकेशन याचा अर्थ असा होतो की या ठिकाणी राईट व्हेंट्रिकल मध्ये आलेलं अशुद्ध डीऑक्सिजनेटेड इम्प्युअर ब्लड या पल्मोनरी एओटात पंप केलं जातं पल्मोनरी एओटा नंतर पल्मोनरी आर्टरीजच्या माध्यमातून ते डीऑक्सिजनेटेड ब्लड लंग्स फुफ्फुसांकडे नेलं जातं की ज्या ठिकाणी त्या रक्ताचं ऑक्सिजनेशन शुद्धीकरण होतं किंवा आपण त्याला म्हणूया प्युरिफिकेशन होतं व्हाई अ लार्ज ब्लड वेसल ओरिजिनेटिंग फ्रॉम लेफ्ट व्हेंट्रिकल इज नोन ऍज सिस्टेमिक एओटा एक्सटर्नल स्ट्रक्चर शिकत असताना याबाबत मी बोललेलो आहे Why studying the external structure? I have told you. From left ventricle, it arises a large blood vessel known as systemic aorta or systemic trunk. Is that clear? And the pure blood, oxygenated blood from left ventricle is forcefully pumped into this systemic aorta. Systemic aorta gives rise to so many different tributaries. It divides, re-divides to form so many blood vessels with which that pure oxygenated blood is supplied to different parts of the body except lungs. Manje, yaa thikani asle le jay shuddha rakta hai, te yaa systemic aorta madhe pum ke le zata, andi systemic aorta pasun ugam paule le jay asanchya blood vessels se tencha madhya matun ते शुद्ध रक्त ऑक्सिजनेटेड ब्लड हे शरीराच्या सर्व भागांपर्यंत पोहोचवलं जातं एक्सेप्ट लंग्स लंग्स व्यतिरिक्त नाव दीज टू ब्लड वेसल्स दॅट इज सिस्टेमिक एओटा अँड पल्मोनरी एओटा ड्युरिंग द ग्रोथ ऑफ एम्ब्रिओ रिमेन कनेक्टेड बाय मीन्स ऑफ स्मॉल डक्ट नोन ऍज डक्टस आर्टिरिओसस ज्या वेळेला गर्भाची वाढ होत असते त्यावेळेला ह्या दोन्ही एओटी एकमेकांना एका छोट्याशा डाक नलिकेच्या मदतीने जोडलेल्या असतात त्या डाकला डाक्टस आर्टेरिओस असं म्हणतात बट लॅट्रॉन दॅट गेट्स कन्व्हर्टेड इन टू अ लिगामेंट नोन ऍज लिगामेंटम आर्टेरिओझम दॅट इज सिम्पली अ रेमनंट ऑफ एम्ब्रिओनिक डाक डॉक्टर्स आर्टेरिओसस दॅट लिगामेंटम आर्टेरिओझम इज सीन एक्सटर्नली नाव द ओपनिंग ऑफ दिस पल्मोनरी एओटा अँड सिस्टेमिक एओटा पल्मोनरी एओटा अँड सिस्टेमिक एओटा लुक ॲट द डायग्राम या ठिकाणी आपल्याला दिसत असेल दिस इज द ओपनिंग ऑफ पल्मोनरी एओटा दिस इज द ओपनिंग ऑफ सिस्टेमिक एओटा दिस ओपनिंग्स आर गार्डेड by means of valve known as aortic valves listen carefully i told you bicuspid and tricuspid valves are an example of auriculoventricular valves because that bicuspid and tricuspid valves are present in between auricles and ventricles at the auriculoventricular apertures and here the valve present at the opening of aot known as aortic valve the opening of pulmonary aorta as well as that of systemic aorta is guarded by means of three semi lunar valves three semi lunar valves you know semi stands for half lunar stands for moon half moon shape are the chandra prati valves just look at the diagram कल्पना करा की या ठिकाणी पल्मोनरी किंवा सिस्टेमिक एओटाच ओपनिंग आहे आणि केरार प्रेझन्स ऑफ सच थ्री सेमी लुनार वाल्स ऑफकोर्स दीज वाल्स आर ऑल्सो रिस्पॉन्सिबल टू प्रिव्हेंट द बॅक फ्लो ऑफ ब्लड फ्रॉम एओटी इन टू द व्हेंट्रिकल्स हिअर वी हॅव डिस्कस इन डिटेल अबाउट द इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ हार्ट सो इट अ स्टॉप हिअर टुडे थँक्यू अँड बाय